go back and do what they do. So as soon as I'm done preaching, we're going to roll right into the meeting and get y'all out of here. Amen. Amen, y'all. Amen. Y'all ready for the word today? Y'all, are you ready? Well, I like that. Amen. Okay, y'all, then let's go to work. Join me, if you will, to the first letter to the church at Corinth. First Corinthians, right there, chapter 1. Amen. First Corinthians, chapter 1. We're going to read verse 10 through 13. See, I need Lorenzo for everything. You got to help a brother out here. Amen. Because um, we're going to go 10 through 18, but we're only going to read 10 through 13 uh, to set it up. Amen. Um, um, I thank y'all um, for everything. Why y'all looking? Elder Williams, thank you for that prayer. You nailed it. And all of y'all can come on in. Um, amen. Y'all, yeah, they got it done, too. Look at them. They in here. They ready for the word, too. Amen. The county team has come, has done what they've been called to do. Um, I want to I want to pray real quick. Only something that I could pray. Amen. I don't know why we feel that we have to pray 10 minutes when we pray. <coughs> Y'all watch this. Amen? Okay. Pray with me real quick. Father, thank you for choosing me for this task. Mm -hmm. I pray that you keep me humble as I deliver your word for the edification of your people. We say this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God heard that. All right. Amen. All right, Amen. Amen. All that other stuff. Is performance. <laughs> Amen. First Corinthians chapter one. We're going to read verses 10 through 13 from the King James Version. Y'all ready to walk? Yeah. Paul says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. Did y'all hear that? Yes, sir. And that there be no divisions among oh, you. Right. Did y'all hear that? Yes. But that ye be perfectly joined together yes. in the same mind and in the same judgment. Did y'all hear that? Yes. Praise the Lord. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Mm -hmm. Paul wasn't there, but he had eyes and ears. Yes, Amen. Sir. Now this I say, that every one of you says, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos, and I of Cephas, which is Peter, and I of Christ. Here's where, where Paul just comes right out. Is Christ divided? Okay. Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Amen. Can I tell y'all what that is? And that's what the title is on today. The dimmer switch of the church. Ah, Y'all don't understand where I'm coming from yet, but you will pretty soon. Take your seats in the name of the Lord. The dimmer switch of the church. Can I tell y'all where that came from? Remember last year in the business meeting, we talked about getting the lights on. Um, we had some lights we need to put up in the foyer, in the, in the uh, fellowship hall. Y'all remember that? We're not done yet because I want to put one in the foyer. Um, and I want to put one in the number one exam room, which is the counting room also. Um, but I uh, got an electrician to put the lights up. Matter of fact, he was the second one. The first one had an accident. The second one came over, did a fantastic job. Sometime after that, he called me. And, um, you know, people, sometimes I'm, I get a little busy. Y'all know that. But I, I will call you back. For some reason, I didn't get his call. Amen. For some reason. I ain't saying he didn't call because he did. He left a message. I didn't get that till later on. But all I know is I got a text message from him a couple of days after that. And he just cussed me out. Ooh, wow. My God. I thought of the dimmer switch because he suggested we get a dimmer switch for the fellowship hall. Yeah. So how he came across because I didn't call him back. Hmm. 
right away. Now, y'all know, y'all call me, and I might be in a meeting, I might yes. be doing something during the week, mm -hmm. but I will call you back. Who in here at that I have not called back? Mm -hmm. Nobody could say that, because I always call you back if, if I don't answer. So if I didn't call you back, I, I, I didn't get his call, though. But I did later on hear his message. Okay. And so before I called him back, before I called him back, he sent that text message. I mean, cuss bruh out. I said, boy, he got a dimmer switch on him. Because he was saying all of this stuff when he was putting the lights up. <laughs> Y'all understand where I'm coming from here? So that's where the title comes from. So can I help further explain why I, I, I heard it in this message? Y'all with me? Y'all ready? So I, first I got to tell you what a dimmer switch is. And I know all y'all know what a dimmer switch is. But listen. A dimmer is a device connected to a light fixture and used to lower the brightness of the light. By changing the voltage waveform applied to the lamp, it is possible, bless you, it is possible to lower the intensity of the light output. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. To lower the intensity of the light output. Now this is the season of the epiphany or when the light went off for you. I heard Sister Phyllis say that on Tuesday night Bible study, the light went off for her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She's already gotten that enlightenment of the saving grace of Jesus Christ, but she got one on Bible reading. Mm -hmm. Amen. My niece Kayla got the epiphany in my living room. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I remember when I got my epiphany. Do you remember your epiphany? The day the light went off yes. for you. Mm -hmm. yes. Praise God, y'all. So, so I'm going to say this again. So by changing the voltage waveform applied to the lamp, it is possible to lower the intensity of the light output. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. So in the professional lighting industry, changes in intensity are called fades and can be fade up or fade down. Remember last week we preached about how to keep your light from fading? Mm -hmm. It is safety dimmer, which greatly reduced, watch this, wasted energy by reducing the amount of energy generated to match desired demand rather than burning off unwanted energy. Did y'all catch that? I don't think they caught that. Amen. What about those times you could have been spending with the Lord and you spent with foolishness? Amen. That's wasted energy. Getting into these gossipy conversations with something that ain't going nowhere is wasted energy. Running behind somebody that really don't like you but you hanging on because you love them is wasted energy. Wasted. While we sitting up watching porno movies, we could have been reading our Bibles. That is wasted energy. Do y'all get the point now? Praise the Lord. Somebody need to catch that. Are we wasting energy or is our light shining as bright as it should be? Praise the Lord. So now, can I give y'all an example of what I'm talking about? In a remarkable book published some years ago, Anglican priest Canon Roger Lloyd, in his book, he makes an archdemon instruct subordinates on an ancient and effective piece of satanic strategy. Y'all want to hear that strategy? Watch this. He said, insert yourself into the simple situations which call for plain and obvious duties, urges this devil. And complicate them and complicate them again until at last no one involved in them can make sense of the confusion. Did y'all catch that? This is how dimmer, dimmer switches work 
in the church. We can have a plain and obvious duty. Think about, and, and I'm not talking about you all, but it, it, the opportunity for us to get this is just too profound. Think about the duties that you have. It's probably something plain and straightforward. Mm -hmm. and, and are y'all with me? Yes, Some, a, an obvious duty, like cleaning the bathroom, mm -hmm. like sweeping the floor. Mm -hmm. How complicated is that? Not at all. Mm -hmm. But something comes in and complicates it, mm -hmm. That's right. and complicates it, and complicates it, and complicates it again until you're confused about how to do it or what to do or who's supposed to do it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I saw Deacon S. LaVon and Sister Ann went in the back and counted money. A plain and obvious and necessary duty could be complicated over and over and over again until there's confusion in it. And God is not the author of confusion. Did everybody get this? Now do you know what the dimmer switch of the church is? And you got to be careful. Keep your eyes open. And you will see the dimmer switch. Yes, sir. Somebody, I, I don't know. I mean, have you all ever seen dimmer switches in the church? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm quite sure everybody in here was. Well, have you ever been a dimmer switch in the church? Don't answer that out loud. Y'all, are y'all with me here? Are y'all with me here? Only a pastor can preach these kinds of messages. You know, I wouldn't preach this going to uh, preach at Bishop so-and-so's church. Y'all understand that nobody else in this church can preach this. All y'all preachers but me. Amen. Praise God somebody. Y'all yeah. alright so far? Amen. 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 So can I talk about the church at Corinth now? <laughs> the church at Corinth was in a sad state. The fellowship among believers had deteriorated to such a degree that it was about to crumble and collapse. I'm talking about the church at Corinth, but it could be this one. Yeah, come on, there was severe division and dissension in the ranks, such as verbal accusations, differing opinions, competitive positions, power struggles, envy, contention, grumbling, griping, complaining, murmuring, quarreling, attacking, and last but not least, gossiping. This is the church at Corinth. Y'all keep in mind what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Believers stood against believer, and there was no give in any corner. Disaster was about to strike. The church was divided, and a severe split was threatened. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever seen a church split? Mm -hmm. I've seen a few of them split. A amen. Mm -hmm. And it is stuff like this is what stirs it up. Oh, God. Yeah. This was the problem dealt with by Paul. It had to be dealt with first for a house divided against itself cannot stand. Mm -hmm. There were other problems in the church, other matters that had to be handled, but the people could not handle them unless they were brought together in one spirit and one mind. The ministry and the mission of the church could not effectively go on until the people stood together. Worship, exhortation, missions, and reaching and ministering to people, the very cause of Christ, the very reason he came to earth and died, were affected and would continue to suffer until the people were brought together. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, can I give you a pattern of church division. That's right here in this text. Paul's comments to the church at Corinth, specifically verses 11 and 12, can easily be applied to contemporary situations or situations today. The Pauline crowd's loyalty was based on the past. 
They gave allegiance to the founding father instead of to their present leadership. So they didn't like the new pastor. They kept looking at Paul. Y'all with me? Uh, they were as those who remain loyal to a former pastor, not the present one. Anybody ever seen that before? The champions of Apollos correspond to those who cling to a passing evangelist or that guest prophet that you invited to your church once a month. Deacon Ball, you understand where I'm coming from here. Uh, 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 so they put, they cling to that visitor rather than to the pastor of the church. Can I go to the Patrine crowd? That's the Peter one. The ones that say we follow Peter. The Patrine crowd suggests those who move from one church to another. They do not transfer their loyalty to the new church and this pastor. And they come up in your house talking about what they did over there, but you left them. <laughs> Praise God, somebody. So like the Judaizers, certainly our primary loyalty ought to be to Christ. But we are not to make him a part of church controversy. Amen. Somebody say praise God. Praise God. Now, I'm going to say this again, what I said in last week's sermon. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 1 through 9, he described the church that God sees. But in, in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 10 through 31, of which we're going to go from 10 through 18, I'll finish the rest next week, he described the church that men see. Yes. Do we need to see what they see of us in here? No. Yeah, we need to see it. We need to know what they're saying yes. because they're going to tell the truth about us when we lie to ourselves. Y'all understand what I'm saying? We think we holy. Yeah. Then you say that in Sunday school. We think we doing good because we go to church every Sunday. But them on the outside saw you at Walmart cuss out the club. They saw you on Facebook saying amen one post and speaking in tongues the next. With your bipolar self. You didn't see it. If I seen it, I know you seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say praise the Lord so I can move on. I need some ABS right now before I keep going. Do y'all understand? We need to know, Brother Greg, what they think of us. We need to know what they're saying. Because you can't fix what you don't know is broken. And you go act up, they're going to talk about me. Oh, yes, so and so. I saw them at Walmart. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, they go to that church where Bishop is. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing what you're talking about me. Because y'all, I'm guilty by association. Oh, Praise the Lord. So, yeah, Brother Green, we need to know what they think. Yes, we need to know what they say. Yeah. So, maybe this will help prepare us. Mm -hmm. To change that narrative. Jesus. Praise the Lord, y'all. Y'all, look, look, I just told y'all, y'all the greatest church this side of heaven. Amen. I ain't saying y'all do this, but we need to hear it. Amen. So we can make sure it don't happen. Praise God, somebody. So, 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 y'all listen. What do they see when they look at us? And if they see something that ain't quite right, what is the remedy? That's the points of this message. Okay. The remedy. Yes. That's going to come in the form of three warnings. Mm. Okay. Think of that as you with me, sister. Y'all yeah. ready? Mm. Anybody mad already? Y'all yeah. all right? Yeah. Yeah. First thing the text tells us is this. Be careful what you satisfy. Mm. Okay. Okay. Be careful what you satisfy. What does that mean? To satisfy means to please. Yes, it means to be content with. Uh -huh. Y'all understand me here. Okay, so I got two questions as a follow-up with the warning. Y'all ready for this? Come on. Are you satisfied with unity? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which means joined as a whole. Mm -hmm. I said kingdom builders of great yeah, things. Yeah. We're all one. Mm -hmm. 
One of y'all look bad, we all look bad. Come on, Bishop. Praise good. Praise God. One of y'all look good, we all look good. I'm just saying, y'all, look at verse 10. Look at verse 10. Paul said, I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. He ain't coming on behalf of himself. He's coming under the authority of Jesus Christ. He said to live in harmony with each other. Oh, yes. If you fighting on the inside, it'll show up on the oh, outside. Oh, yes. on, Don't man. think for one second that it ain't going to leak through. Because you won't leave here talking about that person mm -hmm. you well, arguing with. Amen. Well, Jesus. And they're listening at you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So Paul said, let there be no divisions in the church. Live in harmony with each other. He said, rather be of one mind united in what? Thought and purpose. and purpose. So what you think and what you do should be unified. Mm -hmm. We should all say the same, same thing. thing. Amen. Which means we all should think the same thing. Amen. And if we think like Christ, we can't go wrong. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or are we listening to something else that's complicated and confused? The whole simple mission that we all have together. Praise God, dog. Praise God. So are you satisfied with unity? Now this is going to throw somebody off. Or are you satisfied with uniformity? Mm -hmm. That's not a bad word, but it could be. What do you mean by that? Uh, uh, uniformity means always the same. Or seeking the same. Now, if it, it, let me go to verse 11 and 12 so y'all can get what I'm saying. Paul said, for some members of Chloe's household have told me about your quarrel. My dear brothers and sisters, some of you are saying I am a follower of Paul. Others are saying I follow Apollos or I follow Peter or I follow Christ. Here's what I mean by that. The men that were mentioned they were, they were unified in their message. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. Now I want you to think about it. Paul, Apollos, mm -hmm. Peter were all united in their message about Christ. Mm -hmm. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. The problem was this. They had different personalities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything wrong with that? No. no. It is not. Here's the problem. And this is what we satisfy. I want y'all to catch this. People follow personalities and not the okay. message. All right, now. All right, Bishop. There's somebody in the house right, right now. Amen. So I like his preaching better than his preacher, but they're saying the same thing. Amen. One can spit speed faster than the other. Or one can, can we have to ask me after church. We do that at Sunday school. You ask me, but write it down and come and ask me afterwards. They did. I love that girl. She got questions. I promise you I'm going to answer it. Amen. But y'all got me now. One can, can quote scriptures better than the other one. So people follow personalities yes, yes, yes. and not the message. Yes, yes, when we all should be saying the same yes, thing, yes. whether we in this church or that church or that church over there, Amen. it should Amen. all be Christ's message. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. But we run the danger of following personalities Amen. and not the message. Yes, I refuse to compromise the message for entertainment value. Look at y'all in here today. Y'all want a word. That's right. Y'all want to worship. Y'all yes. ain't come here to see me running over the top of the backs of the chairs. Right. Or running back and forth across the stage and exposing y'all in vacuum the carpet by the dust that comes up. <laughs> They ain't doing that, y'all. I'm just saying. But y'all understand what I'm saying. That was the problem. Yes. They were seeking satisfaction yes. for what they liked. Yes, sir. Not yes. what they needed. Praise the Lord, somebody. Did y'all catch that? Yes. Did y'all y'all didn't see that in there before, did you? Oh, I didn't either. 
First warning. Be careful what you satisfy. Second warning. Be careful what you see. Yes. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. Now, in this text, you're going to see the word factions, Paul says. And a faction is a small, organized, dissenting group within a larger one. Or in other words, a clique in the church. Okay. Praise God, somebody. Yeah. So, so I, here's what I want to warn you about. Be careful what you see. Why? Because you don't need to focus on what doesn't matter. All right, now. Okay, that's Amen. been my new thing, what I've seen. Yes. When it comes to quarreling and dissensions and, and all of this stuff, I was like, does that matter? Don't focus on what doesn't matter. I know that might come out kind of crazy, but I'm from Perry, Florida. And sometimes the country in me is going to come out. And y'all understand. So don't focus on what doesn't matter. Amen. I put the toilet paper over, but you put it under, and it turns into a fight. Do you know the truth of the matter is that churches have split over how the toilet paper is to, is rolling off the road? Amen. Amen. True story. A church split because half wanted it over and half wanted it under. True story. Right here in the state of Florida. Yeah. True story. My question to you is this. Does that matter? No. No. All we need is to be in there. That's right. <laughs> Live it over if you don't like it. I like it over, but I'll roll it off if it's under. And keep rolling in Jesus' name. <laughs> somebody, somebody. It don't matter. Go, let's look at verse 13 and 16. Paul says this, has Christ been divided into factions? Or has he been divided into your group, your group, and your group, and your? We got a men's ministry, yes. We got a women's ministry, yes. We got other ministries, but they all are united. They're not factions. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. I almost said something, but I ain't. I'm going to move on in Jesus' name. Amen. Has Christ been divided into factions? Was I, Paul, crucified for you? Were any of you baptized in the name of Paul? Why? It doesn't matter. Of course not, Paul says. I thank God that I ain't baptized any of you rascals. He didn't say that, y'all. I threw that in there for a junkie joke. Amen. But he said, I think God ain't baptized any of you except Christmas and Gaius. And watch this. For now, no one can say they were baptized in my name. Why? Because it doesn't matter. Verse 16. He said, oh yeah, I also baptized the house of Stephanus, but I don't remember baptizing anyone else. Why? Because it didn't matter. He was baptizing them. Who it was and who it wasn't didn't matter. Are y'all with me? Y'all y'all understand where I'm coming from? Are y'all with me? Y'all y'all with a brother? Y'all with a brother? Can I tell y'all something? Because that's what you see, and that's what others see. They see what you see. If you see a problem, they see a problem. If they see gossip, if you see gossip, they see gossip. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. So true. Mm -hmm. Why is it so hard? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And if you think you're writing everybody else wrong, you need to look at the mirror. Mm -hmm. Woo! Come on now. <laughs> Cause you ain't you seeing everybody else, but ain't seeing yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 That's everybody. Who in here ain't got no issues? Okay. Excuse my language. Mm -hmm. Excuse it. I'm a country boy. Mm -hmm. I ain't been there since I was six months old, but I'm still country. <laughs> I'm Georgia country. Who in here has no issues? Now I'm gonna go proper with you. Who in here has no issues? Mm -hmm. 
Come on now, Bishop. Raise your hand right now. You can. Okay. Did you see my hand go up? Because I got issues too. Y'all understand? And I need to know I got issues. I can't look at none of y'all when I got to deal with me. Somebody say hallelujah. Or say something. Praise the Lord. Amen. Y'all all right? I'll move on if y'all all right. If y'all ain't all right, I'll quit right now. all right. Please don't say it. Because I got more. <laughs> praise, the, praise the Lord. So listen, y'all. Don't focus on what doesn't matter. Then if we ain't to do that, then what are we to do? We are to focus on the message. That's what James said. It is the engrafted word that will save your soul. Yes, sir. Bishop Dixon can't save it. Mm, Bishop Dixon needs saving himself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Bishop Lord. Dixon don't need to cuss out clerks in Walmart. Amen. And cause I ain't cuss you out in Walmart, don't make me go to Popeyes and do the same. Yes. <laughs> you wrong in both places. Amen. Amen. And then run up in church holding up the holy hands and the Baptist finger. Cause you made it to Sunday school. Like you holy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Quote scriptures to somebody down the aisle and then cuss out the clerk at the checkout line. What is that? Oh, Lord. Bruh. Mm -hmm. Can't do it. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Man, we might need some music. Don't turn it on. Y'all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. understand? Now right. we need that. Da, 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 that we start dancing. Hey! Cause we want to dance. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Now you know why they do it. Yes, sir. They ain't focused on the message. Mm -hmm. We masquerading what we do mm -hmm. and what we trying to hide. Well, Jesus, come on, Bishop. Amen. From the pulpit to the back door. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Focus Amen. on the message. Yes. Now this one gets kind of complicated. So watch this in verse seventeen. For Christ didn't send me to baptize because why? It really didn't matter because it ain't going to save you. Okay. But it's good to be obedient and follow the Lord. Oh, yeah. So it's, it, 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 it's both things in there. Y'all with me up in here. Mm -hmm. So he said, for Christ didn't send me to baptize but to preach the good news. Now here's where we go. And not with clever speech. I don't know if y'all caught that. Mm -hmm. And not with clever speech yeah. for fear that the cross of Christ would lose its power. All right, now watch this. And not with clever speech. For fear that the cross of Christ would lose its power. Y'all don't know what I mean by that? People don't want to hear that. So I'm scared they're going to leave the church. If I stick to the gospel, it ain't exciting. That's why um, we, we might get a hundred views. I quit preaching trying to reach everybody out there. I preach online for those that want it. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got come some on. members of the church that can't come. Sister mm -hmm. Sophia. Mm -hmm. Sister Larry, who's here today, but Amen. lots of times she stays home. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you get the message, Sister Larry. Mm -hmm. And I do. Y'all didn't hear what she said. She and said, she and I do. And I know she do. Mm -hmm. She's been the most faithful person in this church from since 2011. Yes, sir. Did y'all hear me here? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I have. I'm, but but put somebody that put a, a prophet before his name or her name. Mm -hmm. And they'll have 400, uh -huh. 500, 1,000 mm -hmm. views. Mm -hmm. And they're watching that because they want to hear what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. Amen. They don't want to hear the message. Mm -hmm. They want to hear the messenger. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me here? Are y'all 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 in the house with me? So 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 fear in your preaching will empty the cross, or, or will empty the cross of its power, cause we ain't preaching it, because we scared that the people don't want to hear it. Now I'm just telling you now, 
that a lot of preaching that's going on, they ain't going to give you all of it. Y'all don't believe me. Turn on your television okay. and watch those messages. Mm -hmm. It's all uplifting. Yes. Yes. It's all oh, good. Yes. God's going to do this mm -hmm. and God's going to yes, do that. Yes, yes. He's going to heal your body. He's going to raise your daughter from the dead. He's going to do all of that. But they never once tell you God said don't do that. Okay. Come on now. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Y'all don't believe me? Turn on your TV yes. and watch them. I almost said, go visit another church. You might like it because it's uplifting. Mm -hmm. Amen. But of course, I can't stop you from going anywhere you want to go, and I ain't going to try. All right, now. I'm going to preach to those that want to hear God's word, not mine. Oh, Amen. 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 I think it's a problem. Y'all see, I ain't moved past the boundaries of this cross. <coughs> Watch some other folks, and they be from one end of the stage to the other, and no Bible in their hand. That ain't Christ's message. That's theirs. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody, I'm just trying to tell y'all what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, y'all got that now? That's proper exegesis right there. Did y'all get that? Yes, we sir. broke that down for you right there. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise and it's the in the word. Then what I said, don't get mad at me. Mm -hmm. I'm just the messenger. Somebody get the Lord a hand clap praise real quick. Hallelujah. I'm doing a temperature check to make sure y'all are all right. Yeah. I got no rocks hitting my car. <laughs> praise the Lord. Sometimes messages have to come out like this. Yes, sir. Yes, praise sir. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise sir. the Lord. Be careful what you satisfy. Be careful what you see. Last thing, y'all already know what it is. Be careful what you say. Amen. Woo. That's a good one. Think before you speak. Yes, yes. yes. Turn the people's feelings to Christ. Amen. 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 Preach, sister. Y'all ever heard Amen. the phrase open mouth, insert foot? We yes. do it a lot. Yes. Should have put the foot in there first. first yeah. Be careful what you say. Yes, Lord. Verse 18, just the A clause. Can I tell y'all something? Don't get pulled into unnecessary into the unnecessary about what you say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Here's what I mean by that. Somebody that ain't in church today gonna call you out to church. Not this church, y'all understand. I ain't talking about y'all because I just said y'all in church, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And y'all here, right? Mm -hmm. So y'all know I ain't talking about y'all, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about somebody though, but it ain't y'all. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 They gonna call you. Who was all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, yeah. What this your priest about? Yeah. What song they say? Mm -hmm. Who was up on the stage this morning? Yes, sir. That's true. Come what on, are they Bishop. trying to do? They trying to pull you into the unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Don't fall for that by answering them. That's right. That's right. That's true. And they will suck you in and you don't even know you got pulled in. So watch this. Don't get mad at me. I'm just saying. Because I saw you first. Deacon Buzz said. Ain't that how they do it? Brother Greg said. Yeah, that's how they do it. And she sitting up there right next to us. You so right, Bishop. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Don't get pulled into the unnecessary. Yeah. If you weren't there, don't call somebody asking them who was there. Yeah. 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 Right. Come on, Bishop. And don't you fall for it by answering them. Well, why don't you come to church next Sunday and see for yourself? All right, sir. They don't want to talk to you no more yet. Honey, they trying to be funny. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, Bishop. I love church folk, but I can't stand them. <laughs> Y'all in that 
I, I'm finna quit now because I'm gonna push the limit. So y'all y'all understand. Look at the A clause of verse 18. The message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction and they don't want to go by themselves. Baby girl, say amen for me if you got it. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> Did, you, did, did that help anybody? Yes, don't, because they going to oh, set yeah. you up with yes. that foolishness. Y'all don't fall for it. Yes, yes, yes. Don't get pulled into the unnecessary by what you say. Oh, yeah. That's what Eve did. Yep, yep, did God yep. say? Yeah. No, he didn't say that, but he said this. Shut up, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to go ask Adam. Mm -hmm. He don't want to hear that. And if you don't want to hear it, go ask God. He the one said it. Why you asking me? That cut that foolishness out right there. Yes. But don't you get pulled into it. And it's so slick. It's so slick that they done pulled you into something and you don't even know it. And guess who name going to come up in the conversation? And they going to say, you said it when they said it. Come on now. Yes, sir. I'm just trying to help somebody because I'm telling you how it is. Praise the Lord. Praise then y'all be Lord. coming about Bishop. So and so said. Uh -huh. yeah. Now you finna waste my time with that. And I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna make you wanna run out of my office. Cause I ain't falling for it. Yes, sir. Somebody say amen and I'll play. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all gonna be quick though. No. Okay, yeah, no, I'll play it, y'all. Listen, y'all. Don't get pulled into these un unnecessary by what you say. What's necessary is the Savior and not a self. Amen. All right, man. Amen. That's what's necessary. Mm -hmm. Myself needs the Savior. Amen. Yourself needs Amen. the Savior. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Somebody look at look at the B clause. Look at the B clause, verse 18. But but we, y'all say but we. But we. But we who are being saved. Know that it is the very power of God. We know that. Why? Yes. Because we've read it and we've experienced it for ourselves. Amen. And the more you experience God, the less you want to experience you. Amen. That's enough to get an amen, I thought. So can I tell y'all something else here? Don't talk on the inside like you may on the outside. Amen. So don't come in here with the way you talk out there. Come on now, uh, amen. Can I go a little further? Oh. Amen. Don't talk to people on the outside what goes on on the inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, amen. Yeah, amen, Bishop. Because their view of you and the church is what you see and that's what they see. And what you amen. say is what they're going to see. Amen. Does that make any difference yes. there? You, 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 no wonder you, all them folks you done invited to church don't want to come. Because mm. of what you say. Mm. Yeah. Y'all mm. ever, if somebody came to church with somebody, and somebody that, that, somebody that invited them don't like it, Go to shake their hand and greet them, and they. Yes. Oh, Amen. Amen. Why? Cause somebody said something about right. you. Already. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. They might come one time, but they ain't coming no more. And you want to blame the person why they ain't coming? No, mm -hmm. you the one said something. Amen. Say it, Bishop. Thank you, D. Thank you, D. Thank you, D. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody. Hallelujah. It's that simple, but we don't see that. Because that ain't where our focus is. We satisfying something, and it ain't the Savior. Praise the Lord. I'm going to close with this. People don't care what you say, but they do what they see. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And what you say Amen. is what they see. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Praise God, somebody. Praise God. Yeah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Good word, Bishop. Good word. Good word. Good message. 
Let the redeemed of the Lord say, Amen. 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 And amen. amen. There may be somebody here that needs the same. It's not hard. Saved and unsaved all go through. But if I'm saved and I'm going through all the time, maybe that's because that's what I'm worshiping. And what you worship will rule. Praise the Lord, somebody. Are y'all hearing me? I ain't focusing on it. I didn't say this before. I said about a month or two ago that I was going through something. Y'all want to know something? I'm still going to do something. I ain't saying that because I want some pity. Because I guarantee you, you didn't see it. All right, yeah. None of you all saw it. None of you all see it. I only said that to help somebody. Yeah. That you ain't the only one. But you ain't going to see it. Why? Because I ain't worshiping that. Right, I don't even care about that. All I know is I woke up this morning. Amen. And if it's the Lord's will, I'm going to wake up next morning. Amen. I know that. So no matter what I'm going through, it's going to be all right. Yeah, that's right. I ain't got to carry it. I ain't got to drag it around. Because it don't matter. Oh, God. Is there anybody who needs to say, look, I'll clean up everything else later. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about every, any question you got. We can answer that. Amen. Amen. You can come forward right now if you um, need the free gift of salvation by His grace. You can come right now. Amen. Amen. If you would like for this to be your church, I'm telling you, it's a good one. Amen. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yes, it is. Else, my niece Kayla wouldn't have been back here. Amen. Amen. But she's here. Again. Thank God. Thank God. Greg and Tamika and, and Maya wouldn't be here. Amen. Right. Y'all wouldn't be here. Yeah. And if y'all was a bunch of messy people, I wouldn't be here. Amen. 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 I can go somewhere else. Or stay home. But I'm going somewhere. I was called to be a servant. I will serve him somewhere. Right. If there's three folk that want the Lord, I, I'm good with that. Him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The invitation has been extended. But the door ain't never closed. Never closed. Right. Amen. Never. Praise God, somebody. Praise God. Praise God, somebody. Praise God. Thank y'all for joining in. If you got any messages, if you got any questions or anything, message us. The phone number is on the website. Call us. Anything. We're here for you. And remember this. 